Videos like these are made possible by viewers like you, who support the channel through Patreon, channel memberships, and stream donations. And don't forget to check out the Bad Weapon Rehabilitation servers at www.badweaponrehab.tf. Check the links in the description for more information, and let's get into the video. Let's say there's a table laid out in front of you, and on that table are four plates with a food item on them, and it's up to you to decide which one is the healthiest. First off, you have a sandwich. Packed with nutrients and covering the bases of the food groups with its mixture of ingredients, perfect for eating on your own or sharing a slice with friends. Next, a steak. Hearty, filling, and delicious, but not exactly the tastiest or safest to eat if left uncooked. After that, a banana. A tasty and nutritious fruit packed with healthy vitamins and minerals. A perfect snack, but not the best for sharing with your friends. And finally, on the last plate, you have... A chocolate bar. Sugary, fattening, diabetes-inducing, and not particularly filling. Delicious, sure, but far from the healthiest. In fact, some would argue that you're better off with that raw steak. That's the contention that I've seen surrounding the Delocus Bar, anyway. A highly underutilized and underappreciated lunchbox item for the heavy, which after Jungle Inferno now has two much more obviously appealing options to contest with. But I don't think this chocolate bar deserves to be left behind, and it's hiding a secret that I think makes it one of the best health restoration items in the game. So here's why I'm speaking in defense of the Delocus Bar. Like the sandwich, the Delocus Bar is a healing lunchbox item for the heavy. But unlike the sandwich, which can restore up to 300 health, the Delocus Bar will only restore 100 health. But to make up for this, it recharges much faster. While the sandwich takes 30 seconds to recharge, the Delocus Bar only takes 10 seconds, which is actually an equivalent wait time to health regen ratio. On top of this, when eaten, the Delocus Bar will grant the Heavy with 50 extra base health for 30 seconds. However, as a further downside compared to the Sandwich, when thrown, it will only act as a small health kit, not a medium one. This also means that even though you can still pick up health kits at full health to instantly recharge your chocolate bar like you can with the Sandwich, it's never going to be a net positive for your teammates. So no picking up a small health kit and throwing your medic a medium one, which is something even the buffalo steak sandwich has over the chocolate bar. So let's talk about the basics of this weapon and why it's so maligned before getting into the more interesting aspects of it. One of the better aspects of this weapon is that since it recharges so much faster, you get to eat it more often. But then that means a new downside is you have to eat it more often. Compared to the other lunchbox items, the chocolate bar has the same eating duration, meaning you're just as vulnerable while healing up 100 health as you are healing 300. And because you have to do this more often to heal a similar amount, that not only means you simply can't take as much punishment if you do get caught out healing the way you can with a sandwich, but it effectively triples the amount of time you spend vulnerable while eating in the first place, even if the recharge rate cuts down on the wait time between each heal. However, this is assuming you need to heal up most of your health in the first place. The chocolate bar is fantastic for simply topping yourself off after a less threatening fight, especially in a game mode like Payload Offense where you're spending a lot of time on a cart that's healing you up anyway. The sandwich is much more of a commitment. You almost don't want to eat it unless you absolutely have to, because if you eat it while still at decently high health, all that potential health pretty much goes to waste. Not to mention potentially wasting it right before a nearby teammate shows up and makes you feel like a selfish asshole. You're forced to be more tactical with the sandwich, but that's not an issue with the chocolate bar. Even eating it at full health just to get the base health bonus doesn't feel like a waste because of how quickly it recharges. In fact, in this aspect, the long eating time can feel like something of a bonus because by the time you're done, you're about halfway done recharging the thing. However, when it comes to the health regeneration, it's important to mention the banana in the room. The second banana has the exact same recharge rate as the chocolate bar, but heals 200 health instead of the only 100 that the chocolate bar gives you, as well as having the exact same supportive capabilities 
which is to say one small health pack's worth of healing. In terms of purely healing yourself up from damage, this is just a straight upgrade to the chocolate bar. And some would even argue the sandwich in situations where you're a solo heavy who's not worried about his teammates, since in the 30 seconds it takes to charge a sandwich once, you can recharge the banana three times and heal up to 600 health, a 2 to 1 ratio unlike the 1 to 1 of the chocolate. Much like the banana, the more you have a medic by your side, the more of a detriment the chocolate bar can feel like because not only will you be unable to take advantage of its upside, but you're also being less supportive for your team since all you can provide for them are small health packs. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, and it can absolutely save a teammate in a pinch, and in fact how quickly it recharges can make this excellent for healing multiple teammates in rapid succession against enemies like Pyros, but it's hard to argue with the fact that, in most given situations, a lot of teammates would prefer the boosted health of the sandwich. But that's not to say they won't ever be appreciative of that faster recharge rate. It's a big give and take that I think makes both options feel fairly balanced. But without the extra health buff, the chocolate bar really struggles compared to the banana. But what about that extra base health? To a heavy, 50 extra health may not seem like all that much, but in the context of the game, it's a pretty important threshold that will save your life pretty frequently. With this health buff, you cross the 300 health threshold, and since most weapons in the game are designed around doing roughly 100 damage per shot, that gives you at least an extra shot's worth of survivability. And when the enemy is in close range combat with a heavy, sometimes that's all the time you need to turn them into Swiss cheese. For reference, this boost in health gives you the ability to survive 3 max ramp up rockets, 3 max ramp up scattergun shots, and 3 direct grenade hits. And on top of that, one of the most attractive aspects of this weapon is that it lets you survive two quickscope headshots. For Heavy who gets so easily countered by Sniper, this is a pretty big deal, especially since most snipers will opt for two quickscopes on a Heavy instead of a charged one-shot. However, for the snipers who do go for this approach, I'm sorry to report that the boosted base health does not increase your overheal from most medics. You can't go above 450. You can, however, be boosted very close to 450 if the medic is using the quick fix, which is a pretty significant buff to that medigun. One thing that's really nice is that the health boost lasts a decently long time, up to 30 seconds. Now, this doesn't sound like a lot, but consider the fact that this is three times longer than the regen rate of the chocolate bar itself, meaning if you're topping yourself off frequently after fights, it's not a massive cost to effectively keep yourself at boosted health forever. Overall, this is an aspect of the weapon that saved my life very frequently from splash damage, fire, heavy versus heavy fights, and more. It allows you to also be proactive with your healing instead of just reactive, and multitask while topping off your health, on top of allowing you to get more health from health packs should the need arise once you have boosted health. Honestly, even if it weren't for the tech coming up, I would say that this aspect of the weapon makes it at least viable in comparison to the banana. It's a benefit that the banana simply doesn't provide. I guess those hard arteries do stop bullets after all. However, that tech is what I think makes the chocolate bar stack up with the rest, and makes it become one of the best lunchbox items in the game. Easily the best reason to use the chocolate bar is due to its synergy with one melee weapon in particular. Now you might think that's the Fists of Steel, because let's be honest, those things are already broken, and adding an extra 70 effective health to your already massive health pool is pretty nuts. And yeah, these two can definitely work well together, especially during sticky situations. However, the real star of the show here is without question the gloves of running urgently. If you've seen my video on the eviction notice, then you might know what I'm talking about here, but if you haven't, then you might be thinking that eating the chocolate bar before pulling out the Gru will give you a bit of extra health during your rollout to make it more effective. And sure, that can work, but where this combo really shines is when you eat the chocolate after pulling out the Gru. Basically, there's a bug in the game which makes it so that if you eat the chocolate bar while regenerating your base health from the Gru, it'll heal way more than it's supposed to, bringing you up from basically nothing all the way to 350 in a couple of seconds. So what this means is you can hold out the Gru for as long as you want, on however long of a rollout you want, 
and as long as you have a chocolate bar at the ready, you don't need to wait for your health to regenerate. And you get a 50 health boost once it's done regenerating on top of that. Now I don't think the Gru's nerf was unnecessary or made the weapon bad. In fact, I still think that the Gru is one of Heavy's best melee options, and especially better than the Eviction Notice, which is a sad pile of stinky poop. But what ended up happening with the Gru is that it became far better for short range quick bursts of speed to close gaps on enemies or run away from a fight by using your mobility instead of your tankiness like the Fists of Steel. And I think both methods work fairly well, even if I think the Fists of Steel are a bit too broken. I think they should either only resist bullet damage or have an extra weakness like fire damage or something. All range damage is just kind of a lot. Anyway, where the Gru ended up suffering is in much longer rollouts. Something like the rollout to Badwater 3rd always sticks out in my mind as one of the longer rollouts in the game that you really want an engineer's teleporter for if you want to get there efficiently. But if your only option is the Gru, then you spend a decently long time regenerating your health. Unless you have a chocolate bar. Then you eat up and you're ready to go back into the fight. And that's not all that's going on here. See, the health returned to you once you eat the chocolate bar is given to you as overheal at first before your base health eventually catches up. This means if you take damage while in this overhealed state, but don't take enough damage to be brought down to your pool of base health, then you effectively won't take any real damage, and you'll slowly regenerate that health over time as base health, further increasing your tankiness as if it wasn't already good enough with that extra 50 health. By effectively removing the downside of the Gru, this allows you to more consistently put huge amounts of pressure on your enemies as your team's anchor, which is your job as heavy to begin with. And on game modes like Payload Offense where you're already an oppressive force, it allows you to play into this role even more effectively by being ready to take on enemies much more quickly than they're expecting. And this means you can now take advantage of your extra health to get short boosts of mobility basically for free since now you're pulling from a higher health pool. Even when the bug isn't considered, these two weapons work really well together, especially for loner heavies who prefer a more flank-oriented, ambush-centric playstyle. Now, it's worth talking about the downsides to this strategy. Its best use is for rollouts, because you pretty much need to be at full base health in order to get these benefits. If you take too much damage while you're still regenerating base health, you won't get nearly the same effects, meaning you'll have to be careful on the way to where you're going, and eating in the wrong place at the wrong time can make you even more vulnerable than normal. Its efficiency in rollouts also means that you won't get nearly as much use out of the chocolate bar in defensive holds where you don't really need to use the Gru to get to the front lines quickly in the first place. For as much as the extra base health can save you in a pinch, it's usually better to run either the sandwich or banana in these extremely defensive last hold situations. There is also the issue of your last active weapon. You'll want to switch to your minigun before you eat your chocolate so that you won't immediately switch out to the Gru again and lose health, which can be a bit of a nuisance. But in terms of taking one of Heavy's best melee weapons and making it even stronger and more effective, on top of plenty of other benefits, I think it's safe to say that the Delocus Bar is a severely underrated and underutilized weapon, and the only problem I have with it is that its main source of utility is based entirely around a bug, meaning this could very easily be patched out. If it does, then I'm seriously going to miss this combo and I think both weapons involved will be worse off for it. So I guess what I'm asking is, can we just keep this as a feature? I mean, this is basically as good as Heavy is ever going to get for movement tech. Let him have this. So, let me ask you again. Which one of these do you think is the healthiest choice now? No, 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 not that, no, not, not that one, just, uh, no, oh, okay.
Oh, no! No! What? That was insane! He went for the fucking taunt kill on me! What a psycho!